yeah happiness uh, like once the notification was out my uh, like phone was uh, filled with lots of messages and calls so uh, this is a very new terminology to me that i n i c e t something institute of national importance combined entrance test okay i'm not much worried about this what i always says uh, from years to years is keep calm do your job that's that the simple job that you have to do is you have to study hard so as most of the people they have some they don't have uh, a clarity about this so uh, uh, with my knowledge uh, i want to discuss few eye opening facts and of course there are few important key points that you have to make a note from this notification okay first of all uh, most of you should focus only on our point of view so our point of view in this list is mds and this video is not for the medical people so don't want any medical student to continue this video you can pause and go ahead so the 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 focus for us is mds so in this session i'm going to talk like how far this notification is important or it will be useful for an mds student right so we'll go ahead into the notification so this is a new terminology okay or a new committee uh, where most of the examinations because regularly we have neat so apart from neat for mds for the central government or government based institutes and the colleges there are few things that they conduct their individual entrance exam apart from that the first individual entrance exam is aims roughly you will have 15 seats now they have i mean like if delhi will have 10 odd seats okay and followed by the rest all aims will have five seats total 15 will be the intake and this intake you have two intakes per year okay intake one will be the jan intake okay and intake 2 will be the admissions will be in the july okay there will be drift in the admission pattern because of this pandemic that is a different story okay so this is what about aims and one coming to the second university that we are focused is the jipmer pondicherry and recently jipmer pondicherry i think they uh, they have done with two rounds of counseling until now recently jipmer pondicherry has added mds in it and the number of seats are only 2 okay the number of seats are only 2 seats are there okay 2 seats are there and the intake will be in july we don't have any intakes in january okay we don't have any intakes in january the number of intakes are just 2 okay the third thing that uh, you have to focus on is your pgi chandigarh nimhams bangalore is nowhere related to us we don't have any mds course over there so you have the next one is uh, chandigarh right so pgi chandigarh pgi chandigarh is intake is 9 okay 9 and the intake is only in the month in july session okay so the only intake for mds is in the january session is aims i, I have i have kept the references also which are taken from pgi chandigarh slide as well as uh, the jipmer pondicherry okay pgi chandigarh has their exam in the jan session but the exam is for the house job okay that is for the junior residential it is not purely for mds okay so i mean like uh, out of this uh, notification we are nowhere related to this so you can strike it off and this notification is for the jan okay so in jan session uh, pj has house job okay that may be useful for few of you but it doesn't has any pg in it july session will have pg similarly pondicherry is doesn't have any uh, mds course as of now we don't know the things may be modified the things may be modified but we need to wait uh, for 
this state okay okay everything will be very clear very transparent once the eligibility criteria is out okay and once the seat position is out okay so you need to wait for this date for clarity meanwhile uh, uh, most of uh, you uh, i mean most of the conquer family is completely in a panic situation what is this what is that so uh, i want to give some uh, some sort of explanation for the questions which uh, you are just pinging me so this is what okay that you have to make you know so coming to the basic registration people i i am not talking about the intense intense you are a fresh candidates people who has previously given aims okay that may be last year or last year you have done your registration that is sufficient that is sufficient you no need to do the basic registration basic registration is something like uh, one time okay you can do one time but you can give n number of exams you can give aims all the sessions with one basic registration but if you not done any basic registration previously then you have to do the basic registration which is going to start from this date and ends at this date okay so interns you are going to be the fresh candidates so you can proceed with the basic registration okay and the next dilemma for most of the interns and most of the odd batch interns specifically is whether they are eligible for this exam or not okay that's the biggest question no one can answer as of now but i feel like the covid 19 uh situation will be considered as a national nas- natural disaster naturally occur pandemic they may consider your internship they may consider this pandemic as an internship but for the official notification uh we have to wait for the dca updates or the concerned college people or the university updates or at least we need to wait for the eligibility criteria which is going to be given by the aims or the upcoming neat notification so interns don't worry about this particularly the odd batch interns are more worried about this so i'm getting so many calls from you okay don't worry about this first focus on preparation this is common thing for everyone okay we are not special to this all odd batch odd batch interns are suffering so it's better to leave it and focus on the preparation interns who are half a with the half a with half a way through their internship few few colleges college people are calling back to continue their internship wait the dca is going to give the notification okay don't worry stay positive hopefully we'll get a positive sign which is going to help our preparation if not it is same for all okay so don't waste much of your time on this stay positive that's what my suggestion to most of you so as i said i have dropped some uh, references okay the first reference is uh, taken from uh, the pgi sorry uh, taken from the pgi chandigarh website okay so it has only july intake okay it has only the july intake right the july intake and it has only the three branches in it okay clear so that's that's one it we don't have any january intake we don't have any january intake similarly this is two to 2020 entrance examination uh schedule for uh, the uh, for the jipmer so here you can see we have sorry here we can see we have july mds right you have july mds but you don't have any mdss in the january session so these are the rough assumptions but the clarity will be given in the prospectus which is going to be out on 6th of october so wait for that once the prospectus are out and i'm going to post one more video uh, to focus only on the key things okay for any for everything like even if you prepare something reading some topic there are few key things where your questions will come from so your focus should be only on the key things so i hope you have learned few things few key things uh, in this particular notification okay uh, and uh, i mean of course the f- the most important thing that you have to make a note is the date of examination so your countdown 
has started you have to focus more on that and the second important thing that most of you are missing is the exam time okay so the exam time is not in the afternoon most of you are being prepared or giving examinations in the afternoon taking your neat into consideration your neat into consideration but i don't know why there is a, some drift of time now they have kept exam in the morning session but again for this confirmation few times uh, it may or may, may may go error i have seen situations where aims people went uh, i mean there there's some modifications okay they may come out with a different time in the prospectus but you have to focus the most important thing that you have to focus is the exam time exam time is in the morning so from now okay so try to be active both in the morning time as well as in the afternoon time because your need will be mostly your need will be in the afternoon your aims is in the morning so you have to be active at this phase your adrenal levels should be active at this phase but i want everyone to practice your exams or uh, give your mock exams at this particular time uh, which is going to make you active or your brain active in solving an mcq in the examination hall okay so these are the two things that you have to make a note that is the date of examination slight modifications in your schedule slight modifications in your approach and make sure you drop the countdown dates of aims uh, in the in your study room so that's going to give you a buzz to run hard and to move ahead in your preparation phase and make a note your examination is in the after is in the morning session i'm stressing it again and again this is going to play a very very vital role okay and uh, the most important thing is focus on books not on social media i'm seeing so many people uh, focusing on social media and deviating your preparation it's not right so i uh, of course the pandemic situation is in such a way that people were uh, focusing more on social media and they were, i mean like previously we used to have the same issue but the drift is more now towards the social media you have multiple groups you have multiple websites you have multiple youtube channels you have so many things now every uh, even undergraduate is opening an uh, youtube channel even even undergraduate opening teaching and everything everything is happening but but you once you like uh, if you are planning to follow something do some background work and follow because uh, when you are approaching towards the examination the most important thing that you have to make a notice what to read and what not to read when your material is increasing in size your confidence levels will decrease in size okay so that most thing is required for examination is the confidence level so you try to transparent that content and give importance to the content which is really required so my suggestion for most of you is follow a single mentor follow a single path because when you are following a single path your destination will be easy to reach and there is high chances that you will reach your destination safe when you follow different people or different mentors uh, i think like things may get overlapped so this is a most common uh, reason i have seen uh, in the people who really work hard but not up to their mark in the examination so please this is this is my personal suggestion i myself is a victim when i was preparing for the entrance following multiple mentors or following multiple things and i don't want you to be the same okay so love learning with uh, team mds conquer thank you take care all the best